In map view, we can see the locations of all the entries in a journal. Currently, I'm zoomed in on my current location, which is where five of the entries in the daily journal have been made from. Click on this marker, and these five entries are presented over to the right. Double click on one to view or edit it. Back in the map view, click the show all button and the map will zoom out enough that every location included in the currently selected journal is visible. If I switch to the travel journal and then show all, the map zooms out even more to include an entry from St. Lucia and the one from Glacier National Park. We're also able to create new entries directly from the map. If I move to a location on the map like this movie theater, I can right or control click here and then choose to create a new entry. It will take on this location from the map rather than where I currently am. If I now zoom out a bit, we can see that I have three markers in the Boise area that contain seven total entries. Click the Filter Visible Region button and all the entries visible on the map now appear over to the right. Click on the X to clear the filter. Click Current to zoom in on your current location. In this menu, we can switch between map types. We're also able to edit the location of any previous entry. In the travel journal, this entry has no location applied to it, so it's not even going to appear in map view. Select it here in the timeline, and then click the marker button down here, and we can enter a location. This can be done by using a place name or a specific address. I'll just apply St. Lucia as the location here. And now in map view, we have two entries down in St. Lucia. Next, we'll look at the calendar view. 